Welcome back to my Jets Connected franchise. Today it's going to be week 13, and we have to take on the Tennessee Titans, who are 4-7. and seven. We are just above 500 at 6-5, and five. and it's starting out on the defense here, but I will show you that Brian Poole is going to be playing again. Perry Nickerson did not have a great debut, so I'm going to put him back down in the depth chart. Morris Claiborne will be the number two. Brian Poole will be the uh, slot guy, and Tremaine Johnson can stay at the number one. I think everything else is the same here on uh, defense. But on the offense, some stuff changed. Antonio Garcia is now starting at right tackle. I want to give him a shot. Let's see how he plays. If he plays better than Brandon Shell, then Garcia might be our guy for the rest of the season. I also changed the scheme to West Coast Zone Run. Now this just means that Sam Darnold fits the scheme. He's like the biggest building piece on offense. So I want to see what kind of overall he can get to after this season. One other thing. Not that big of a difference, but our Darius Stewart is going to get some more playing time this week. He's going to be starting in the slot. Quincy Anunua really hasn't played badly, but he hasn't gotten that many opportunities. So, I mean, I really don't know how he's playing. Our Darius Stewart, though, he's like our number four wide receiver. And he is now going to be in the slot and above the depth chart, um, you know, of Quincy Anunua. So, I think this offense has some potential... Not really. I don't know why I even said that. <laughs> this offense is still going to be terrible. But also, I changed the offensive playbook, so maybe there is some potential hidden away because now we have the same playbook as the Saints, who are a great offensive team. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of that comes from Drew Brees and the offensive weapons that team has. But still, let's see if we can replicate their success at all in this game against the Titans. I also want to show you guys a bit more of the draft board. I went through and spent my scouting points on a right guard, and this guy might be the best right guard in this class. Le'Veon Pollard. Out of Michigan State, he's a big man, six foot three, 331 pounds. He's a power right guard. Doesn't fit this scheme, but that's not really that big of a deal. Brady Schneider looks like he could be decent as well. But this guy's supposed to go in the second round. If you look at the gem there, it says he's a first round talent. But then if you look closely, it says early second round. So I really want this guy. He's actually like one of my top players on the draft board who I can see myself taking. If I go all the way to the draft board, so I think I think we determined last week that Banyard, not Banyard, who is it? Is it Hannon? Okay, so Hannon is the first late first round player, and that's where our picks are supposed to be. So pretty much anyone in this juncture is who I'm going to spend my first or my, my first round draft picks on. I think I want Le'Veon Pollard like more than any of these guys up here. I'm gonna leave these guys up here because obviously it all depends on the combine grades once the combines come out i will reorganize this more but also there is another decent looking second round right guard houston goldman or huston goldman he doesn't look bad at all obviously still depends on the combine grade but i still want deontay grant i think above goldman but still i mean there's some options here for us in the second round a ton of options in the first round i might even be able to trade up to take one of these left tackles but i just wanted to show you guys this right guard he looks really good i think he is going to be one of the players I target in this draft, but let's get into this game against the Titans. The Titans might not have a great record right now, but they still have a pretty talented team. They have a lot of young players at starting positions, like Kevin Bayard. He's a young safety, turning out to be one of the better free safeties in the NFL. Marcus Mariota, of course, is their starting quarterback. The Jets have to be careful with him since he's very dangerous out of the pocket using his legs. They have a great running back committee of Deion Lewis and Derrick Henry. Of course, Deion Lewis, more of a pass-catching third down kind of running back. He's also just very talented, and he can even run between the tackles if he needs to. And then Derrick Henry, of course, the bruiser. Six foot three, huge running back. He can definitely get the job done for them as well. This defense has some leaders on it as well, like Jarrell Casey. Wesley Woodyard is another veteran. They have the talented Rashawn Evans as a rookie, and they have a pretty good cornerback core. So this game is not necessarily that easy. But right now, the AFC playoff picture, the Jets are in the second wildcard spot. They were in the first wildcard spot last week, but they did take a loss to the Patriots. But let's get into this game here. The Jets start off with the ball, going with a run play to Jeremy Hill, who has been performing very well these past couple of weeks. He's going to try to continue his success. That was a nice run there for seven yards, fighting through some contact as well. He had 83 yards last week, which is a pretty respectable game to have. Now second and three, the Jets are trying to set up some play action since the run just worked on the last play. Darnold has Terrell Pryor wide open over the middle. He's going to get the starting job at tight end this week. I want to see what he can do as, you know, the starting tight end. Third and four, though, for the Jets on this drive at the 33-yard line. Darnold looking for someone to fire to. He finds Robbie Anderson on the slant pattern, one of the most consistent routes that Robbie Anderson can run for a first down. 
First and 10 now. The Jets are trying to set up a screen to Elijah McGuire. McGuire catches the pass, has blockers in front of him, sets him up pretty well, but then kind of gets a little tired and can't truck by anyone. But still, Darnold 4 for 4 for 57 yards. A great, a great way. A great? Yeah, okay. A great way to start off this game here. Jeremy Hill taking the handoff at the 5 yard line, and he's inches away from a touchdown, going down at the 1 yard line. Nearly got in. All he had to do was extend the ball over the plane, but it's okay. Third and goal right now. Sam Darnold takes a quarterback sneak up the middle and is able to get a touchdown. That's. One of his few rushing touchdowns this year. I honestly can't remember if he's had another one. But now, the Titans have the ball. That was a great drive to have on offense. Honestly, the ideal offensive drive there. Delaney Walker catches this one. The Marcus Mariota-Delaney Walker connection has been strong the past couple years. And it's probably going to remain strong for at least this season. Delaney Walker usually retires within a year of uh, Madden Sim. But Marcus Mariota going with the read option, trying to use his athleticism to get to the outside. But Brian Poole did not fall for it. And he's there to make the tackle. So it's going to be a third and four right now for the Titans. Let's see what they can do here. This Jets defense dropping back in zone coverage. Mariota scrambling around in the pocket. Had some players open, but decides to throw this one away. I guess he sensed pressure that wasn't really there. The Jets really didn't blitz in that situation. But now first and ten. Our Darius Stewart is in the slot, and that's where the pass is going. He tries to hurdle over Cyprian. Not very successful. Kind of just knees him in the chest piece. But Darnold, 6 for 6 for 76 yards right now. A great start for him. Third and four. Darnold dropping back, trying to find somebody open, but does take a sack. Rashawn Evans, the rookie, coming up the middle, taking him to the 50-yard line. But the Jets will be trying a 67-yard field goal. Cairo Santos kicks it. It is up. It looks good, and it's going to go through. The help of the wind really made that one go through. That is going to be an NFL record. If I'm not mistaken, the previous record was 64 yards. Cairo Santos beat it by three yards. It's a pretty big difference as well. 67-yard field goal. Third and 10, though, for the Titans. They definitely do not want to give the ball back to the Jets. Their offense seems pretty decent right now, scoring points on their last two drives. Granted, they did get a huge help there by the wind, but Deion Lewis cannot convert the first down there, and the Titans will have to punt the ball back to Darnold and his Jets. Pretty good return there by Bird. Takes him to the 46-yard line. Play action for Darnold. Lobs it over to middle to Terrell Pryor. Playing pretty well as a starting tight end right now. And Darnold, 8 for 8, 95 yards. His best start of the season so far. Third and two, Darnold senses the blitz from the safety on the right side. Slides the protection. Has a player open in Jermaine Curse. He could have thrown that to Robbie Anderson or Curse. They were both pretty open. And Darnold continues his perfect streak. Another safety blitz. The Titans aren't really disguising it too well. Darnold slides the protection, fires over to Terrell Pryor, who was stood up inches before the goal line, going down to the one-yard line, but Darnold improves to 10 for 10 right now in a great position to get another touchdown on a quarterback sneak or something, but they decide to throw it, and Jermaine Curse beats by the press on the slant pattern and gets a touchdown. And the team is going to celebrate by pretending to be a curling team, I guess. A couple of the offensive linemen and a couple other wide receivers are there. But first and 10, Jonu Smith goes in motion. Deion Lewis gets the handoff here. The former Patriot running back, of course, picks up about seven yards there. Pretty much their best play of the game so far. Second and four right now for the Titans. Marcus Mariota in a shotgun set. Fires over the middle to Taewon Taylor, the young wide receiver. Picking up the first down. This wide receiver core is pretty young. I guess aside from Rashard Matthews is still on their team in this, you know, scenario, in this universe. He gets the catch there, though, almost picking up the first down, going down to the 48-yard line, making this a second and manageable. It's going to be second and three right now for Marcus Mariota, who's in the shotgun again. Deion Lewis to his right. The play action goes to him. Good blocking. Good coverage as well by Tremaine Johnson. But Delaney Walker, with the strong hands, can make the catch in traffic for the first down. Marcus Mariota looking a little bit better now on this drive than his previous two. Second and seven, though. Marcus Mariota out of the shotgun again. Darren Lee dropping back in coverage. Hovering over the middle, leaping up in the air and snagging this one. That was intended for Corey Davis. Of course, the pass never got there. Darren Lee, the athletic middle linebacker, is able to catch up to it and high point it for the interception. Second and six right now. The Jets are in control of this game. The counter goes to Jeremy Hill, who is running very well in, you know, replace of Tevin Coleman. You know, he's he's playing extremely well. Tevin Coleman comes back next week, but I still think Jeremy Hill should get a starting job at some point because he's going on to the left side of the field here, going up the sideline. Can he outrun all these players? He cannot. Jonathan Cyprian, I think, catches up to him. I mean, I, I didn't mean to say that Jeremy Hill is going to get a starting job. I meant to say that he should still be implemented in the offensive attack because he has been playing very well. But first and 10, play action goes to Jeremy Hill, I think. Actually, that might have been Elijah McGuire. Robbie Anderson, though, catches this one down to the six-yard line. Darnold is 12 for 12. He is playing extremely well right now. Elijah McGuire in the backfield now. Taking this third down handoff up the middle. Getting his first touchdown of the season, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm pretty sure it was him, you know, on that play action two plays ago. 
Third and six now. The score is 24 to nothing. The Jets got out to a super fast start. Good coverage again by the Jets defensive backs, but Deion Lewis is able to catch that one in traffic. He's a good receiving back as well, so it makes sense how he came down with that one. First and 10 now. Marcus Mariota has Delaney Walker open. They're going with a lot of, you know, comeback routes. The Jets should probably try to adapt to this and call more man coverage or something. Mariota not having the worst game right now. It did throw an interception, but his completion percentage is pretty good aside from that. Third and three. Play action for Deion Lewis. And Marcus Mariota finds Taewon Taylor, who spins out a couple defenders, tries to spin again, and picks this one up, picks the first down up, taking it to the 34-yard line. Corey Davis now in motion a little bit on that right side. Marcus Mariota dropping back, firing to Delaney Walker. That was a mismatch there. They had Jordan Jenkins covering Delaney Walker, which is never going to work. You need at least a coverage linebacker, and that's probably not even enough. You probably need a safety to cover Delaney Walker. Marcus Mariota hands this one off to Deion Lewis, who gets to the outside. Good blocking by the Titans. They have a good offensive line, so it makes sense. They have a good left tackle, and Deion Lewis can take this one to the one-yard line. Of course, that's the side they ran the ball to. Second and goal now at the one-yard line. Titans looking to score a touchdown. Marcus Mariota with the read option. The Jets have to be aware of that. Marcus Mariota is a super-fast quarterback, so they have to set up a contain and be aware of the read option for sure. That is going to take us into halftime, though. The Jets are dominating this one, 24-7, leading in every category that you can see there. Looking like a pretty good game right now for New York, but let's check out a couple of games here. See what's happening around the league. The first game is going to be the, the Patriots and the Vikings, and the Patriots are just in control of this one. 21 to nothing, looking like they're going to cruise on to 11-1. Tom Brady, three touchdowns. Jordan Matthews caught one of them. Kirk Cousins can't really seem to get much going. Dalvin Cook. Not running the ball too well. James White doing all right, I guess, right now. Averaging more than six yards a carry, so that's pretty good. The Falcons and the Ravens are also playing. Actually, this game is over. The Falcons won. Matt Ryan, two touchdowns. Devontae Freeman had one, and Julio Jones had one. Lamar Jackson, not having that bad of a game. He has two touchdowns for himself as well. And then the Bills and the Dolphins in this divisional game here. This game looked like it was pretty good. It's 30-24 to for the final score. Josh Allen, four touchdowns. Ryan Tannehill, three touchdowns. Kenny Stills and Jeremy Curley each got two touchdowns for their respective teams. The Dolphins dropped to 2-10. and ten. They're not playing well this season. Let's get into the second half of this one, though, where Marcus Mariota tries to lead his team at a pretty crazy comeback victory. This pass is tipped by about 12 different players before it hits the ground. Easily could have been intercepted by a few of those guys from the Jets. Should have been Marcus Mariota's second of the game. Second and 10 now after that interesting uh, pass. That wasn't really a good read. Marcus Mariota finds his receiver, though, Rashard Matthews. Pretty sure Richard Matthews is actually on the Jets right now because he was cut by the Titans, I think, or something happened with that. And I'm pretty sure he just got signed by the Jets. I, I could be wrong, though. This one is a much better throw to Corey Davis. That was pretty decent coverage again by Tremaine Johnson. He was like a step behind, but that was a beautiful throw by Marcus Mariota. Put it exactly where it needed to be. Deion Lewis takes his hand off to the left side. This play worked earlier in the game in a similar situation, and it's going to work again. Also, the Jets missed a bunch of tackles there. Deion Lewis scampers for a gain of, I'm actually not sure what the gain was, at least 10 yards because he got a first down, I'm pretty sure. First and 10 now, Tanwan Taylor catches this pass over the middle. I'm going down to the four yard line, Marcus Mariota again, not really having that bad of a game, but didn't make that one mistake and could have had another interception earlier. Deion Lewis with the handoff here, the Jets were prepared for it though, and they stop him for a loss of two yards. He's still not having a terrible game, averaging 3.9 yards a carry right now. Three, third down and three right now for Marcus Mariota, who tries the fire to the end zone to Taewon Taylor. He cannot make the acrobatic catch. That could have been pass interference, but I guess the refs are just letting him play. Jeremy Hill takes his hand off here, trying to fight through some contact, does just that, and then has to fight through more if he wanted to get any more yards there. But 12 rushes for 76 yards for Jeremy Hill right now. He's playing pretty well. Second and six, Darnold dropping back. Still has not thrown an incompletion. Takes a shot deep to his star wide receiver, Robbie Anderson, and he cannot come down with it. James Carpenter. Goes down with an injury as well, but that's the first incompletion for Sam Darnold today. And if it's coming in the second half, the team's playing pretty well. Third and six right now. Darnold dropping back, firing this one to Jermaine Curse before he turns around, but, you know, Curse is able to adjust to it. 15 for 17 right now for Sam Darnold, 170 yards and a touchdown, having a great performance today. Jeremy Hill on the handoff here, running between the tackles pretty well. Picking up a pretty decent game there, making it second and four. He's having a good day though. 82 yards right now, 6.3 yards per carry is nice and respectable. That's actually more than respectable. That's fantastic. Darnold throwing this one over to, Ter to Terrell Pryor though, who picks up the first down, taking this one to the 25 yard line. The Jets in a good position to at least get a field goal. Second and 16 though, Darnold was sacked on the last play. Jeremy Hill taking the delayed handoff up the middle, more towards the left side and Jermaine Curse goes down, but that's not going to be a long-term injury. He will come back at some point in the game. Third and eight right now, Darnold trying to find somebody open for the first down. Had a couple guys open, but could not get the throw off as Derek Morgan and someone else share a sack 
on Sam Darnold. Cairo Santos, though, does knock through another field goal, so it's 27 to 10. Derrick Henry takes the handoff. That is a great tackle, but Morris Claiborne, if he did not make that stop, that would have been a monster gain for the Titans. Derrick Henry is not an easy guy to tackle in the open field. Third and 15 now, Marcus Mariota in a pretty clean pocket, just tosses this one up. I'm not really sure who that was intended for. I think he might have gotten pressured at the end, I'm not sure. But another good return by Bird sets the Jets up with very nice field position. The slant route goes to Jermaine Curse, and Brian Arakpo goes down with an injury. The veteran pass rusher for this Titans team, he's a very good player, and it kind of sucks that the Titans lose him for a little while. Jeremy Hill, though, taking this handoff, breaking through a tackle battle, and is able to pick up a first down. Hard running right now for Jeremy Hill as he goes over 100 yards, trying to just chew away some clock for his team so they can, you know, get this victory. That actually was not a first down. Sam Darnold, though, senses the pressure, fires this one to Terrell Pryor after the play action, putting him over 200 yards on the day, only with two incompletions as well. Second and eight, shotgun look for the Jets, Darnold dropping back. Trying to look for somebody open. Finds our Darius Stewart for the last play of the third quarter. And he gets launched. Launched? What? Gets launched into the end zone for his first career touchdown reception. That was a nice play designed there by the Jets, but that was not really supposed to go for a touchdown. I thought our Darius Stewart was going to get tackled there. Marcus Mariota trying to mount a pretty crazy comeback. That's going to help a little bit. Rashard Matthews catching this pass here. A couple missed hit sticks as well from the Jets. Taking this one to the other side of the 50-yard line for the Titans. And it'll be first and 10. Another shotgun look. Marcus Mariota dropping back. Scrambling around a little bit and gets sacked by Leonard Williams. The pocket wasn't really collapsing that much. I don't know why Marcus Mariota moved. Maybe he just felt the pressure that really wasn't there. Marcus Mariota, again, pretty clean pocket. Delaney Walker taking this one down for a gain of about nine. It's going to be third and seven right now for the Titans. If they can't convert this here, the game is pretty much all but over. But Marcus Mariota looking for someone, has somebody on the comeback. Rashard Matthews, nice catch in traffic. Way to hold on to it. A good route and a nice throw. It's going to be first and 10 now at the 22-yard line. They're nearing it on, on the red zone. The Jets press their cornerbacks. Marcus Mariota fires over to the right side, has Taewon Taylor open, a nice route run, and another good throw by Marcus Mariota. He's been pretty accurate today, with the exception of a couple passes. But now it looks like they're about to run it, but they do not. The power back is in the game, Derrick Henry, and Marcus Mariota throws this one to the back of the end zone. Should have been intercepted. Should have been Darren Lee's second pick of the game, but he can't come down with it. Now it's going to be third and goal. Marcus Mariota fires to the back of the end zone, this time a much better decision, and Taewon Taylor is there for the touchdown. Making this game a little bit closer, but still the Jets are in pretty big control, 34-16. They are going for the two-point conversion to make this a two-possession game. Marcus Mariota scrambling to the outside. He's pretty lethal when he breaks the pocket, and that's exactly why. He's pretty fast, and weird animation there to slide, I don't know why he really did that, but it doesn't matter, it's going to be 34-18. Jets have the ball, trying to run out the clock as much as they can. I know there's still 10 minutes left, but still, they're thinking about trying to, you know, put this game on ice, really. And Jeremy Hill picks up about five yards there. Pretty nice run, fighting through some more contact. Another run play for Jeremy Hill is designed here. Up the middle, good blocking, way to break through some contact as well for Jeremy Hill to pick up the first down. 111 yards for him on the day. It is going to be a second and 11 now. Play fake, it goes to Elijah McGuire, Darnold dropping back, has a player open, can he get the throw there? He cannot, just barely overthrows Robbie Anderson. I feel like that wasn't even an overthrow, I think Robbie Anderson could have came down with that one if he tried. Third and long now for the Jets, Darnold dropping back, has a pretty clean pocket, has a receiver open as well, but cannot hit him. He started off super accurately today, but didn't miss two throws in a row. The Jets will have to punt the ball on fourth and 11, of course. Edwards boots this one deep. Campanaro is back there to return it. Pretty good return, man, normally, but he gets stripped there, and Darren Lee picks it up. The Jets just flip the field position with that punt, taking this one to the 34-yard line. Huge special teams blunder there for the Titans, and Jeremy Hill is easily able to pick up about 13 yards there and a first down. This Titans defense is normally pretty good. They're ranked sixth, but they let up about 330 yards at this point right now to the Jets. Jeremy Hill taking this outside handoff on third and 10. The Jets are trying to keep it conservative just to knock through a field goal, making this a three possession game. That's exactly what happens. 37 to 18 right now for the Titans. Empty backfield for Marcus Mariota. Scrambling to the outside. The Jets did not set up a contain, and he is going to take advantage of that, picking up a first down. About 13 yards there on the scramble. Second and 10 now. Marcus Mariota tries to draw some players offsides, does not do that. Looking for someone to throw to. Has a player wide open. It is going to be Rashard Matthews, who takes a shot from Lorenzo Malden. The Titans are driving a bit right now. First downs on back-to-back -back plays, I'm pretty sure. It's going to be first and 10 right now for them. Marcus Mariota getting tripped up a little by Deion Lewis, and that is a pass that could have been intercepted again. Did not happen. If that was thrown a little bit better, maybe it would have gotten caught. Decent route there by Corey Coleman. Not Corey Coleman. Corey Davis, my bad. But Derrick Henry catches this one in the flats, makes a move on the man, 
and is able to pick up a first down. Marcus Mariota, 238 yards, a touchdown, and an interception, having a pretty decent game right now. Has made some bad decisions, though. Could have had three picks so far today. Actually, I think it could have been four. Makes a beautiful throw there, though, to Rashard Matthews. Again, good coverage by, you know, the Jets. Morris Claiborne was shadowing him, but just Marcus Mariota put it exactly where he needed to. Second four now, the Jets are blitzing, calling some pretty aggressive defense, and Delaney Walker catches the touchdown. It's hard to man cover him, so he just gets open in the back of the end zone. He's a big body, so it's pretty difficult to do. The Jets don't really do anything with their drive. They just try to run out the football, or run out the clock, I guess I should say. Lack Edwards punts it, puts some backspin on it, and pins the Titans back at the six-yard line. Great punt there. The Titans have to travel 94 yards to get a touchdown, and there's only a minute and 44 seconds left of the game. Marcus Mariota, pretty clean pocket, always like scrambles around a little bit. He doesn't really ever have to. Damon Taylor picks up the first down as the Titans go into hurry up. First and 10, the very next play, a nice lofted pass to Delaney Walker. Gets a really favorable animation taking this one into Jets territory at the 46-yard line. Also, Marcus Mariota is over 300 yards on the day. Mariota, again, in a pretty clean pocket, decides to run around a little bit. Has a player open, and Deion Lewis, Avery Williamson just lost him in coverage, it seemed. And Marcus Mariota goes up to 366 yards on the day. This is a great drive for the Titans, but it might be too little too late as Marcus Mariota finds Delaney Walker once again for another touchdown as he starts to hug the field goal pole, I guess. I don't know, but they have to go for this onside kick. It has to be gotten by the Titans if they want any shot at winning this game. But our Darius Stewart is able to recover this for the Jets, solidifying the win. 37-32. to the Titans came back a little bit, but the Jets really had control this entire game. Marcus Mariota's stat line might look decent, but he really didn't play that well. He had a couple plays that could have been picked off that weren't. I think he had three others that could have been intercepted. But Sam Darnold was very good today. Jeremy Hill was very good today. Elijah McGuire and Sam Darnold also got a touchdown, a rushing touchdown. Terrell Pryor led our team in receiving. But the two touchdowns came from Jermaine Curse and our Darius Stewart. Antonio Garcia only let up one sack, and that was the only sack let up of the game. Jermaine Johnson led our team in tackles. Morris Claiborne led it with tackles for loss. And a couple sacks, and of course, the interception by Darren Lee. So this game was a good one to have after a loss to the Patriots. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.